I want to thank everybody for continuing to support this channel and the effort that I'm making to be obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord and my Savior, in bringing to you the immense amount of wisdom that he so generously continues to share with me and with others in times where it is really challenging to continue to produce content and to make sure that it comes from the Lord. I want to invite as many of you as possible to our Zoom group. We meet typically on weekends, and this is an opportunity where I can spend usually a few hours with those who are there going through some questions and some additional teachings. As always, I'm not here on my own merit. I'm here to simply send you back to the Word of God, to the Bible. The Bible is the true Word of God. All of us need to be there as a reference, not following men or women, not me and not anybody else. All we are doing is to send you back to the Word of God, to draw as near to the Lord as you possibly can, to repent, to stay connected with the Lord in a relationship with the Lord, away from religion, away from traditions of man. And this does not mean forsaking your church gatherings, and all other forms of fellowship and worship that you do but it is to say that you have to have that relationship at this moment in time the lord is looking for those who are seeking him with all their heart so i'm going to continue this series called the open series where i will be sharing teachings that i received they're incredible they're so many and i am doing my best to compact them and to present them in a way that is sustainable for me to edit these videos, still maintaining clarity and consistency so that you can all understand where we're going with this. So tonight we're going to go to the book of Esther and we're going to read from chapter 5, verse 14. Then said Zeresh, his wife, that's Haman's wife, and all his friends unto him, let a gallows be made of fifty cubits high. And tomorrow speak thou unto the king that Mordecai may be hanged thereon. Then go thou in merrily with the king unto the banquet. And the thing pleased Haman, and he caused the gallows to be made. This teaching is absolutely incredible. I'm going to do my best to keep it compact so we can get to the point and I'll be reading through my notes instead of going through a chart, which would take a lot longer. To start, Zerash means misery. She is the wife of Haman, which in my opinion represents the false prophet, Haman representing the Antichrist. Immediately as I saw 50, which is something I have been asking the Holy Spirit for a very long time, I now knew that the Holy Spirit was telling me 50 represents the Jubilee. And so 50 is one Jubilee, which is 50 years. But at the same time, it was clear to me that the 50 not only represented the Jubilee, but 50 Jubilees. So 50 Jubilees is 2,000 and 500 years. So as I am familiar with these dates, the first thing that I did was to go and look when Esther in a real time lived around what time. And when I Googled, this is what I found. I found that Esther lived around, as you can see here, it says in Google, the year 479 BC. When we count 50 Jubilees, or 2,500 years from 479 BC, we arrive at 2023. This is absolutely mind blowing, but it's not all yet because when you look at the chapter number and verse number, it's 514, and that's when Israel became a nation in 1948. Zeresh is talking about the tomorrow, which is the second day, as we know, as the Lord has taught us. So that's perfectly matching. 
and it's also talking about going to the banquet, which we know is the feast of Esther. This tells us how close we are to the return of the Lord and the rapture. Now, we don't know the day and the hour, and I don't know the day and the hour, but we certainly know we are extremely close. And yes, it could be any time now, for sure. But this is not the point. The point is to draw near to the Lord, to examine yourself, to ask the Holy Spirit to search you, to make sure that you are prepared to meet Him, where the priority is the Lord, not the world, in your heart, not just in your deeds, not just in what we do, but that the only thing we desire is to be with Him, to serve Him, to do His will. This is what the Lord is looking for, that bride group that is looking for Him and not looking at the world. Now, of course, we have obligations. I do too, and we continue to fulfill them. But in our hearts, we desire to serve and be with the Lord out of our joy and love for Him. So please continue to pray for each other. I will continue to post these shorter teachings within the open series. There's so many and I'm organizing them, including the New Jerusalem, which is really spectacular. The revelation is incredible. I'm going to ask you to share the gospel with as many people as you can. The day is at the very late hour. We have no time left. Continue to look up, but continue to share the gospel to go to the loss. Don't spend time in debate. I hope this message blessed you. In Jesus' name, amen.